Well, we're talking about the posture of flexibility. Somebody say the posture of flexibility. Come on, say it again. The posture of flexibility. How many have ever done a workout before? You ever worked out at the gym or maybe you were a part of a basketball team or maybe you're a part of some type of team is that they have you do some stretches. <laughs> Amen. So that you can be flexible. Because in order to have the most effective workout and to do the very best performance as it relates to athletics, you got to be flexible. Amen. And the only way that you can be flexible is you got to stretch. Come on, where's your stretch at? Come on, come on, feel that stretch. You got to stretch so that you can be flexible. Somebody affirm, I am flexible. Come on, affirm it again. I am flexible, which means that I'm not stuck in any particular posture, but I am flexible. And if you're going to be a follower of Jesus, our way show, our example of what it means to be fully human and fully divine, you've got to be flexible. And so in our text, Jesus, as he is getting ready to teach these parables about the kingdom of God that he introduced in the Sermon on the Mount, we see Jesus moving. We have a moving Jesus. Somebody say a moving Jesus. We have a flexible Jesus, a Jesus who changes positions, a Jesus who changes postures, who is our example, our way shower that says, if you're going to follow me, you must be flexible and be willing to change your posture. That many people are stuck into religion because they won't change their posture. They're stuck into rules and regulations and they become stagnant because they are not flexible. But Jesus, we see a moving Jesus. We see a flexible Jesus who does not keep the same posture. The Bible says that he sat. The Bible says that he stood. The scripture also says that he moved from the house to the seashore, from the ship to the sea, that we see a flexible Jesus. And so God is calling all of us as we walk through the parables of Matthew 13 to be more flexible. Come on, affirm with you. I'm learning to be more flexible. I don't know what you can flex. Maybe it's your toes and your shoes or maybe it's your hands. Uh, you can aim and hold them and release them. Maybe it's your back. Amen. But I am learning to be more flexible that your success in this season is based upon your flexibility and i say that again your success in this season is based upon your flexibility your success in your health is about being more flexible your success in your relationships uh-oh that God put people in your life to help you to be more. And we want everybody else to bend and twist and turn. But in order to be in a healthy relationship, you've got to learn to be more flexible. That everything can't be your way. Look at somebody say, everything can't be your way. Amen. You got your way, I got my way, but we must find our way. Amen flexible in order for you to experience success in your finances in your wealth you got to learn how to be flexible diversify your finances amen stocks and mutual bond bond mutual funds and bonds amen and ties and offering and giving to people you got to be flexible in your finances give somebody a high five and say i'm flexible in my finances I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not stuck in one mode of giving, 
but I give my time. I give my individuality. I give my money. I give it all from the energy of love and I am flexible. That many times we're praying and we're saying prayer changes things while we stay the same. We want prayer to change everything but us. We want prayer to change everybody but us. And we're talking about prayer changes things. No, prayer changes you. And when you are changed, you are empowered to change the things in your life. Somebody say prayer changes me. And when I change, I am empowered to change the things in my life. I don't know about you, but I'm learning to be more flexible. Amen. I'm being more, yearn to be more open, more yielded, more pliable, more flexible. And so you say, well, how does God want me to be? And we get feeling like we're supposed to be one way. But the posture that God desires you to be in is flexible. That's God's posture for me. Flex. Uh oh, I hear rhyme. Flexibility is God's posture for me. Amen. Come on, say flexibility is God's posture for me. Amen. And for you too. For all of us. That God has a posture for all of God's beloved offspring. And that posture is the posture of flexibility. Amen. It'll reduce the chaos, the confusion, the contention in your life when you learn to be more flexible. And say there's a divine order in the universe. Things are happening exactly the way they are supposed to. And there's a divine timing in the universe. I'm flexible. Amen. We can change the meeting time. We can adjust the itinerary. We can change the schedule. I am flexible. Amen. We can try new ways of doing things. It doesn't always have to be the way it has been done because I am. Well, we always do it like that. You got to learn how to be flexible. So Jesus is in these different postures of sitting, of standing, of moving. And as we are following Jesus, we're learning to explore various postures. Amen. Help me with this chair, Patricia. Amen. Yes, this one right here. Amen. Because that one's too flexible. Amen. I don't want to I don't want to be like putty. Amen. And so sometimes what God is calling you to do is just to sit. Point point number one is sit down. Sometimes God is telling you to sit your little behind down somewhere. Just sit down. You're doing too much. Sometimes God is calling you to sit. When Jesus was working the miracle of the two fish and the five loaves of bread that fed the 5,000 men, not even including the women and the children, the first thing he said was make the people sit down. That many of us are not experiencing our miracle because we won't be seated. You got to learn how to just sit in the presence of God and just be still and know that I am God. That with your body, you with your body posture as written in the book, uh, pray your spiritual toolbox. You don't just pray with your mouth. You pray with your body. Somebody say, I don't just pray with my mouth, but I pray with my body. Come on, say again. I don't just pray with my mouth. I pray with my body. So when I sit in prayer, I'm saying, God, I am open to receive instructions. I'm open to receive direction. Sometimes God is calling you to pulley point number one. What can you sit when God tell you to sit and let somebody else do something? Amen. Can you sit when God is telling you to sit? So can you rest when God is telling you to rest so you can move when God is telling you to move? Sometimes God instruction for you is just to sit. 
And guess what? I'm flexible enough that if God says sit and let somebody else do it, amen, I will take my seat, have several seats. Amen. Just sit down. And sometimes God is calling you to sit and you must be flexible enough to, to sit. Amen. Just to be still. Just to hear God's direction, to allow the Holy Spirit to speak to your heart in that seated posture. The posture of flexibility, pulley point number one, often God is calling us to pulley point number two. And sometimes you've been sitting and God said, all right, it's time for you to stand up. You've been sitting long enough. We said, well, God told me to sit. Well, that was yesterday. Today is a brand new day. What is God saying today? Stand. Stand still and see the salvation of God. Sometimes God is calling you to stand. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ have made you free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. You, you're seated getting instructions, but then when it's time to do it, you stand on the truth that you know. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, putting on the whole armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the belt of truth, your loins girded about with truth. That I'm standing. Isn't that what the song says? Standing on the promises of God. That I'm standing on God's word. I'm standing on God's promises. Sometimes God tells you to sit. And pulley point number two. Sometimes God tells you to, to stand up. To stand up for what you know is right. To stand up for what you know is true. But we're so stuck that last year God told you to sit that we won't stand when God tells us to stand because he said sit last year. Hello, it's 2021. It's time to be flexible, to change your posture, to be flexible. Somebody say, I'm flexible. Come on, affirm it again. I'm flexible. Come on, affirm it one more time. I'm flexible. That I can sit when it's time to sit. I can stand when it's... Some of us got spiritual ADHD. We get fidgety. We don't, we're not comfortable sit, sitting. We, we, get, we get fidgety. We get uncomfortable. It's like something's wrong. What's going on? And we start itching and twitching because we're uncomfortable. We're sitting. Sometimes you got to sit down to receive the miracle. Sometimes you got to sit down to receive instructions. But I'm not stuck in the seated posture. I will sit as long as God says sit. But as soon as God says stand, I rise out of my seated posture and I stand on the principle that God gave me while I was sitting down. Amen. You can't be sedentary all your life. Look at somebody say, you can't be sedentary all your life. You're sitting at the computer. You're sitting behind your desk, sitting playing the game, sitting watching TV. At some point, even if it's doing the commercials, stand, stretch. Amen. My posture is the posture of flexibility that God is calling me to flexibility. Somebody say God is calling me to flexibility. Come on, say it again. God is calling me to flexibility. God is saying, can you move? Can you shift? Can you change? Pulling point number one, sometimes God is calling us to what? Sit. Pulley point number two, sometimes God is calling us to stand. And pulley point number three, sometimes God is calling us to move forward. Amen. That then I sat and got my instructions. I stood on the truth that I know. And now God is saying, move forward. 
You've been going around this mountain long enough. Move forward. Drive and go forward was the instruction that the prophet gave him. Drive and go forward. I'm moving forward. Sometimes God is telling you to move. Sometimes you got to change jobs. Sometimes you got to move out of your apartment, out of your house. Sometimes it's a geographical move. Come on now. Sometimes it's a move in your mood. Sometimes God is telling you to move. Knowing that when I move, I preach, uh, uh, when I move, you move. Just like that. I preached that a long time ago. Amen. That when, I, when God moves, I move with the cloud. Amen. The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. When I move, you move just like that. What happened? I moved. You can't find me at my old address. You can't find me in my old mindset. You can't find me in my old speech pattern. You can't find me in my old belief system. What happened? I moved. You got to know how to bust a move. The posture of flexibility, the posture of a believer, the posture of a Christian, the posture of those that follow the way shore is one of flexibility. I follow God's instructions. I follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Did I know how to pull it point number one? What? Sit when God says sit. Amen. Amen. Pull it point number two. I know how to stand when God says. And pull it point number three. I know how to move when God says move. And they said, why are you not going away? God ain't say move. Amen. Well, it's this only God didn't tell me to move. God told me to stand right here. Y'all go ahead, but I'm gonna be right here because God didn't tell me to move. I've learned what happens when I move out of turn. Sometimes I'm playing cards and, and, and it's not your turn. And you play out of turn, you throw the whole game off. Wait your turn. When God tells you to move, move. But don't move till God says move. And don't stay when God is saying move. That was the challenge that the children of Israel had in uh, Egypt. Egypt was not a bad place. But they stayed too long. God said move and they wouldn't move. We get comfortable and God is saying move. We get stuck in the boat of our familiarity. We get stuck in the comfort zone of what we're used to. And God has said, I need you to be flexible. What posture are you going to be in? Flexible? That's my posture. I'll sit when God says sit. I'll stand when God says stand. And I will move when God says, and not a second before. You can't make me move. Not when God told me to stand. <laughs> Amen. And you can't make me stay when God is saying to move. That is true worship. That is true relationship with God. Where you are sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And you know how to sit when God says sit. Stand when God says stand. And move when God says. And that's what Jesus is teaching them as he's setting up these parables. I'm not teaching you in the same posture that I taught you before. And some people say, okay, do we need to go back up to the mountain? No. I'm teaching from the seashore this time. <laughs> do we need to stand? No, I'm teaching from sitting down this time. We like to be able to predict what's going to happen. And when we can't predict what's going to happen, we get uncomfortable. But I can tell you what's going to happen. Flexibility. But what, I don't know what to do. Be flexible. That's what you do. I don't know what posture. I don't know how to be. I, be flexible. And so I feel the healing virtue of God. Because that inflexibility is manifesting in our bodies. That's why your back been stiff, because you haven't been, you haven't been flexible. And that's why Arthur, 
Your new boyfriend, Arthur, your new girlfriend. Arthritis in your knees because you haven't been what? Flexible. Rheumatoid arthritis. Bursitis. Stroke. Because you have not been flexible. Chronic pain because you have not been flexible. And God is saying, heal yourself. Get into the posture of flexibility. And I guarantee your body will begin to feel better when you stretch and become more flexible. When you stop being so stubborn and so hard-headed and stiff-necked in your old way of doing things and be flexible. That Jesus opens this parable demonstrating to them different postures, the posture of flexibility. Can you heal yourself today? You don't have to be in chronic pain. You don't have to be stiff. You don't have to hurt. You don't have to have arthritis and bursitis and all those other itises. If in your mind you will be flexible, if in your heart you will be flexible, if you set an intention to be flexible, your whole body will respond to that flexibility. And we... Holy Spirit, help us to be more flexible, not rigid, not stiff, not stuck, but flexible. And we breathe. If you got to do yoga, do yoga, do whatever you got to do to keep you flexible realize it's not just for your physical body it's for your mental and your emotional self to be flexible and we breathe can you lift your hands and just Say within your own consciousness, I don't need a stroke to learn flexibility. I don't need arthritis or bursitis or pain or discomfort to make me be flexible. I consciously choose to be flexible. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on, feel yourself shifting. Feel yourself changing. Feel yourself being open to divine unlimited ideas. I am flexible. And we I feel that healing virtue. If you know somebody that's suffering right now with any type of itis, hold in the consciousness. Wrap them in the healing light of God's love. Maybe it's you. Hold the vision of your wholeness and your perfection. Ask your back, why are you stiff? Ask your knees, why are you hurting? How am I being inflexible? We wrap you in the healing light of God's love. We see you as God's beloved, flexible offspring, perfect, whole, and complete. Thank you, God. 
Anybody feel that healing virtue? I feel it. I feel the healing. I receive it. Thank you, God. Stiffness in your neck. Stiffness in your joints. That pain, that stiffness is leaving your body now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the authority that is in the name and nature of Christ Jesus. Be healed. Be flexible. It is so and so it is. And so we let it be. Amen. And amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the anointing of flexibility. Ooh, thank you, God. Mm, I feel that healing virtue just flowing. Thank you, God. Pain is just God knocking on the door telling you to be more flexible. Mm, thank you, God. So it is. Amen and amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Mm, thank you. Thank you, God. 